Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the Voscoin YouTube channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about cryptocurrency mining. It's gonna be based all around FPGA mining. And this is the most plug and play real FPGA miner that we've ever had reviewed and dealt with before. And when I say real, I mean it's like actually an FPGA card and it's not an ASIC miner like device. For example, ASIC rigs compared with FPGA card mining rig, different. We're going to be reviewing the TPS 1530 today. It's based off of the BU9P uh, FPGA architecture. So we're going to go over all that, kind of what it means, profitability, setup, and kind of what goes into this. FPGA mining is not simple, but this is, again, the most plug and play one that we've ever seen. So 10 seconds of tails, the best Shiba Inu in the world. Here is the machine that we are dealing with here. This is made by a Taiwanese engineering company called talent pro software okay that's the tps part of this device these are pretty easy to set up because as you can see i simply have it connected to my uh just benchmarking a triminer pc over there windows computer and then i also have it connected to ethernet it needs both you can also daisy chain these you see a little connection there in the front you can daisy chain them along and then have multiple devices connected just you know in tandem there this is a field programmable gate array card basically that means you can mine anything that's fpga mineable if you have the correlating bitstream and bitstream is kind of like a mining program for FPGA miners. So if you don't have that, you can't mine the certain things. Some of them are free, some cost money, some are hard to get, so a lot of variables there. But looking at this, you can see in the last 24 hours, we mined about 59 Digibyte. And putting this into a Digibyte to USD, uh, you know, converter here, we mined about $1.24 worth of Digibyte. You may think that's great, or you may think it's not, but to be honest, if you look at cryptocurrency mining as a whole, this is just ASIC miners, but it's a you know, quick uh, chart at a glance here. All of these machines cost thousands of dollars, and they're all making between nothing, losing money, to that's one that was an exception this is going to go down pretty heavily here very soon trust me so basically you're making between like zero and ten dollars with these devices so this is right in line with that if you do decide to get one of these basically any bitstream correlating to the vu9p board is relevant to this miner keep in mind the handshake is now asic mine keep in mind that nervos is now asic mine keep in mind these other things will probably be asic mined eventually but new fpga mineable coins continue to appear over time so before we run more numbers let's actually look at the device and its performance here so if you've ever done any kind of crypto mining you're probably going to be familiar with a screen like this so let's kind of take it from the top once you get it all plugged in and set up you will have it you will, it will appear here in the MView management software from here there's a few things you can do one of the main things you can easily do here is go into the VRM status and you can set the voltage this is going to impact the power consumption as well as the mining performance okay once you do that the voltage is set that's going to vary kind of how you're cooling it for example this is air cooled not liquid cooled air cooled will not be able to run as aggressively as liquid cooled options but that's okay because air cooled is a lot easier to set up maintain and uh it's much more user friendly especially for a beginner you don't have again the liquid the whole liquid cooling aspect from there, you're gonna download a newer version or a different version of MView, it's called the management system. And from here, you should have your uh, TPS 1530s. Again, I just have one up here, right here. What you really wanna focus on is loading a bitstream. There's a lot of bitstreams out there that you can use. We're using the Digibyte AutoCrypt bitstream. Okay, so Digibyte is a mineable cryptocurrency. It actually is a multi-algorithm coin, so there's five mining algorithms on it. One of those algorithms is AutoCrypt, which was built to be FPGA mind. So from there, we can click on here and navigate to where that bitstream is. For us, it was right there. Click, click, program, and then your bitstream is loaded. It does take maybe like 30 seconds, 60 seconds, depending on your system and setup. So once you load the bitstream, you're not mining yet. Like again, this is a lot, is much more involved. You also have to ha make sure you have the correct drivers 
on your computer as well. So the critical things to have in one folder together here are going to be your bat file, your bitstream, and then the actual mining program. Okay, so without the bitstream, this won't work. Without the mining program, this won't work. And without a bat file, it won't work and you also can't start it. So setting up a bat file is easy. It's literally just a Word document here and it just needs to have the correct information inside of it. For example, we have a loop so it never times out. And then we have just the basic information here that we're you know, activating the otominer.exe. And you can see we have our pool information as well as our wallet.worker name information, password, and the frequency associated with this. How we actually begin mining is after we set up all this other stuff, is simply double clicking this Windows batch file. Once you do that, this screen appears, and then you begin mining. You can see the frequency that we're mining at. You can see the voltage that we are mining at, and then you can see the subsequent hash rate. The most important thing when it comes to mining hash rates is that your pool hash rate, okay, this is what you get paid off of. If you increase your 24 hour like hash rate average, well, now you're gonna get paid more. One of the other hot FPGA mineable coins recently was Kadena, or is Kadena, KDA. However, one of the main competitors on FPGA mining, which we actually have in here to review, I'll have that video out within a week. This thing is supposed to do 80 giga hash a second on Kadena, which if you were in the calculators, that's supposed to earn about 11.5 coins a day. However, in our experience, we're only getting you know around eight KDA coins a day, which would put us you know more around this effective hash rate number. But again, we'll have a full review, kind of diving into that and all the details again surrounding that. I want to just make a quick note here, just to illustrate this, because I know everything crypto and especially everything mining, and even more so FPGA mining, can just simply be confusing. The VU9P here is basically the chip commonly associated with the B the BCU or sometimes called the VCU 1525. These cards were made really popular in the big resurgence of FPGA mining a couple years ago with this like most uh, no like very no notable uh, FPGA mining rig here. We've actually covered this exact kind of situation set up in the background here on the channel before in our kind of what's going on with FPGA mining video, but. The point is, is that this chip is what's located inside of the TPS1530. So you may be wondering, Vosk, how much does it cost? The price is $2,990. Okay, there's no additional cost though. You plug it in. There's no extra stuff. With a lot of these other cards and setups, there are additional costs. This is basically plug and play, okay? Only thing I needed that this thing didn't come with was an ethernet cord, and if you're in mining, you probably have some sort of Windows PC that you can run this in parallel with. The, they are also open to running a promo for you guys watching the video from two weeks from the when this video goes live They're saying that they'll give you a hundred dollar fifty hundred and fifty dollar refund in cryptocurrency And if you post an unboxing quick review anywhere that you will get an additional one hundred dollars back in crypto Honestly, this is a super cool unit and with how just kind of unapproachable FPGA mining has been for so long it's so difficult to get into this is as easy as it gets if you're thinking about spending ridiculous money building out FPGA miners and farms and you want to make this huge FPGA mining rig or multiple versions of it but you don't have experience in this kind of stuff this is definitely gonna be right up your alley if you want to get into this as easy as possible or more so from the hobby aspect or supporting networks, then this is gonna be a great option for you. If you are looking at just the most cheap options, then you're gonna be better suited to just go full DIY liquid cooled FPGA mining route. I get that, okay? And they did send this miner to us to review. But the fact of the matter is that you either look at crypto mining as a hobby or a business, and you have to run the numbers and you have to decide yourself kind of what's worth it to you at what price and really just what's interesting and what do you want to spend your time doing because let me tell you you're going to spend some time with FPGA mining okay it's a little bit more involved i would like to thank our sponsor for the week here on Voscoin. it's mining disrupt on behalf of scott offered it is a cryptocurrency mining conference pretty relevant if you want to learn more about cryptocurrency mining it's going to be held entirely live a lot of people in cryptocurrency are introverts so if you ever wanted to go to a conference without going to a conference this is it it's gonna be held in VR which looks like this which I, I'm pretty interested to see kind of how all this plays out it should be uh, should be fun 
fun uh, experiment to watch. If you want to learn more, I've got a link out to this in the video description below. So as always, guys, I'm here to give you real world reviews and real world mining profitability and just a, a honest lens into the crazy world that is cryptocurrency. I truly think that this is a super cool device, okay? And unfortunately, we're just not in the heyday of mining right now. I hope that we have a huge just mining profitability uh, resurgence, but we're just not there yet. So yeah, you know, this it's, it's going to take you on paper several years to ROI or really break even on this device, but it is based off the VU9 or it is the VU9P. So with that, you have a much if it an efficient FPGA mining card. And in comparison, you're looking at things like the hash altcoin and the Imperium miners. These are bigger, more powerful and less efficient FPGA miners. Okay, so you know again, you're just gonna have to decide what you want to do, what your power cost is, what your budget is, what your goals are, and if this you know suits it for you. But no matter what, at a minimum, I think this device is so cool to just lower that barrier that's associated with getting into FPGA mining because it's not as simple as GPU mining rigs or CPU mining or ASIC miners where you basically plug them in and put your wallet address and now you're making money with crypto. So as always guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure to subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel. I really appreciate all you guys that have subscribed. We recently just went over 126,000, which is crazy. It seems like just like last month we went over because it's two months ago now, went over 100,000. So it is so cool and we want to take this as far as and high as we can. And the biggest way you can show support, honestly, is a free just by simply subscribing to the channel and watching our videos and checking in and stuff like that. It, it means everything to me um, and I really appreciate you all. So as always, please leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this video, on the channel, on the direction, stuff you want to see more of, your thoughts on the TPS 1530. Please hit the thumbs up whether you like the video or not because thumbs down is just a depressing metric. And as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.